Hey YouTube, so this is going to be my what's in my Filofax or how I organize my Filofax video. This is my Filofax. This is a um, A5, I believe Finsbury is the um, model. And I forgot the color, but it's kind of like um, a purpley pink fuchsia type color. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, it's just got a pocket, there's places for cards, and there's the zipper pouch. Um, I just kind of keep a pencil, mechanical pencil, tucked on the inside. And on the inside pouch, um, I've currently got, let's see, um, some Martha Stewart color coding labels, and, um, this is some stamps. And this is a list of maternity pictures and props and outfits that I want to take. Um, and then the first thing, very first thing, I have here is a flyleaf page. And these are great for um, kind of putting in front of your different sections or tabs in your file effects because you can stick um, uh, post-it notes on them or use washi tape to kind of adhere something, a list, or anything like that. So I've got one in the front, and then I have a, um, just a tab that says monthly. I decorated it with some, like, scrapbooking paper and, um, washi tape. And, um, I've got this, uh, kind of, like, page protector, um, that's the first thing, my file effects under monthly, and this is where I write down my um, monthly goals, and I kind of break them down into um, ministry, health, there's one for each of my kids, um, financial goals, organizational goals and projects, and personal goals. Um, and then I have kind of like the year at a glance, and I just kind of have a flower up to the current month. Um, and then I've got my, uh, month on two pages, and this is where I write, um, you know, important events, um, upcoming events, um, got, like, paydays and bills listed in red, I've got, uh, I kind of list out things that I need to buy or do, or purchases I need to make, um, around a payday that aren't like your typical bills, um, things like that. So that's what June is looking like. And I've got it filled out through um, December as much as I can. So that's what that, that tab is like. And then the next one is weekly. And um, let me take this off. I usually paper clip up to the current week. Um, and right here on uh, the back of the weekly tab, I've got my weekly chores um, outlined. So on Mondays, I focus on the kitchen. Tuesdays is bed and bathrooms. Um, Wednesdays is laundry day. Thursdays is living areas. Fridays is Shabbat prep, Shabbat, and then prep day for the week. And then um, I've got my two weeks at a glance. So my weeks have been looking kind of crazy lately, um, but this is my current week. So I just, at the top, I kind of write my, um, like, overall goals, and then I kind of break things down into daily to-dos. And then I've got, um, this week I'm doing some baking, so I have my baking day list here. And then the next to the week that I'm in, I keep another flyleaf, and I've got a whole bunch of different um, post-it notes uh, working. So I've got things I want to do for my blog, for YouTube, um, a to-do project. This is a little list of things I need to take with me to the birth center, um, things to buy. Um, I'm working on some school projects for Ori, so that's there. And that's everything under weekly. And then I have a to-do section. And, um, I've got a little thing here for quotes on kind of time management. 
And then I've got my pregnancy to-do list. It's like a mess. I've been uh, feverishly crossing things off the list. Um, so my to-dos are in that section. Then I have an education tab. And I haven't had a chance to do much with this one yet, but I also have another section for quotes. And then um, I've got a little sheet I made for things I would like to learn. Um, some learning goals I have for Ori for this next year I need to fill out. Same thing for Noah, um, developmental goals for the first six months. Um, some preschool unit ideas. Um, I'm working on the quiet boxes for each day of the week for her this week, so I went ahead and made like a little list to start working on. And that's it. I'm going to put some lesson plans in here once I've got them made up. And then the next section is finance. So that, and then on the back I've got um, kind of like a, a monthly calendar of when the bills are actually due, the monthly due date. And I've got a little, um, pay, another page protector with kind of like my grocery list or to buy list. And then I have a zip, zipper pouch for um, receipts. And then I have a things to save for list, kind of um, needs once and then one for each family member section, um, oops, a financial goals page, and um, this is a monthly expenses that are um, not always reoccurring, that they just kind of come up randomly, and then yearly expenses, and by month I've kind of tried to um, list them out so I can stay on top of that. And then here, um, I just put these in here and I haven't had a chance to start using them yet, but these are kind of like um, to keep track of expenses. And then the next tab I have is goals. And um, I've got books I want to read, Bible verses to memorize, um, my weight loss goals for after I have the baby. Um, journal entry ideas. I haven't had a chance to fill this out yet. That's everything. And then under notes, I've got um, account and password information, favorite websites, contacts, my three months at a glance, um, kind of like project to-do list. And then under lists, I have... Um, some date ideas for my husband and I. This is my household items. These are just things kind of like on my to buy grocery list, Costco list, when I get a chance type of thing. Um, then I have this because I'm about to, oops, sorry, have a baby and um, I'm going to have a lot of people coming in and out. So I made a list for myself to reference to let them know how they can help me um, if, if they offer help. And then I also have kind of like um, some freezer meal ideas or meal ideas that are beef uh, recipes. And then I have listed out kind of like what to pair them with. Same thing for chicken. Um, I need to make one for like meatless dishes. And then I have a ba baked goods list, um, kind of like favorite recipes. And that's it. In the back I've got place for cards. Um, and I just kind of keep random things in this back pouch. This is, <coughs> oh, some things I need to file. So there's a letter from a friend. This is um, joy in the battle scriptures for about strength and praying for your children. And this, I don't know. This is, oh, um, my freezer cooking lists. So, um, anyway, that's everything that I keep in my Filofax. It's working out really well for me. I like, um, the size. It's, like, perfect size to, um, use on a daily basis. I found that three-ring binders, um, I have a home planning journal that's a, a big, you know, regular size three-ring binder, and that's just too big to, like, put in your purse and carry around with you. So when I do need to take my Filofax, um, it's much easier to transport and travel around. It's leather, it's sturdy, 
Um, you know, it's just, it's a lot more convenient as far as functional day-to-day -day use. So, anyways, I hope this was uh, informational for you guys. If you have any uh, questions or suggestions even on how I can better um, implement this and use the Filofax, just let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.